Welcome to episode two of James's Sunday Sketch. Today, in honor of the Springbok victory yesterday in Japan over England in the Rugby World Cup final, I will be drawing Antidorcus marsupialis, or the Springbok. I'm going to take a snapshot. You do this by running your hand along the image like that. Now the springbok, of course, is the national animal of South Africa. How it has become the national animal of South Africa, well, is something of a mystery. It used to be extremely common antelope. Um, we have things like elephants, rhino, hippo, lion, and yet this rather humble and uh, strange looking beast is our national animal. A wonderful victory yesterday over the English, who will be crying about it for years to come. Shame, shame to them. Now let us capture the eyes of the animal. And the springbok's got quite dark eyes, very good. Now the big thing about the springbok is the fact that he is in fact desert adapted and has a number of very interesting adaptations to reflect the sun's heat. This particular adaptation is a mantle of white fur which reflects the sun's heat. There is the sun's heat, you can see, and a white belly. And that white belly uh, allows the heat coming off the ground to be reflected. This particular animal is engaging in what we call pronking. It is leaping up and down, showing its fitness to all and sundry. Now we are going to dispense with the black pen, a beautiful fine lining black pen with a panda bear on it. And we're going to go with a feathering technique. Now I like to use the left hand here because it's not so constrained by education exactly like fur. We're going to use a double feathering technique to demonstrate the background. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we have a magnificent representation of the springbok, the national animal of South Africa. Well done, springboks. Bad luck, England.